Hello everyone, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will discuss projection of lines. Before going ahead, make sure you have subscribed my channel so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. In the previous video, we have discussed the possible cases while projecting lines. There are four possible cases. Case number one, given line is parallel to both reference planes. Case number two, given line is parallel to one reference plane, perpendicular to another. Case number three, given line is parallel to one reference plane and inclined to another. Case number four, given line is inclined to both reference planes. Out of these four cases, case number one has been already discussed in the previous video and the link for this video has been provided in the description. Today, we'll discuss case number two. Case 2 has two more subcases. A. When the given line is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. And the vice versa of this can be subcase 2. Given line is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. In the previous video, we have discussed subcase A. Now, we will discuss subcase B in this video. Now, subcase B of case number 2 that is when the given line is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. Let's take an example for better understanding. A line CD is 70 mm long is placed such that its end point C is 30 mm above HP, 15 mm in front of VP and it is near to VP. Also the line is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. Draw the projections of the line when it is in first quadrant. Let's extract the given data first. Given line is CD with true length 70 mm. The locations of front view and top view for point C is given to us 30 mm above HP, 15 mm in front of VP. Also, C is mentioned near to VP. Line is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. Also, line is given in first quadrant. Positions of front view and top view for C. According to this, Front view of C will be 30 mm above XY and top view will be 15 mm below XY. If you have any doubt related to the positions of front view and top view with respect to XY line, do refer a video which is given on identifying the quadrants and the positions of front view and top view. Let's understand this question in 3D. So this is horizontal and vertical planes like this. We are looking from this direction. As per the given dimensions, 15 mm in front, 30 mm above, there is a point. And the name of the nearest point is given as C. So this will be C point. Now, parallel to HP, the line can be placed in two positions like this. In the second uh, position, the line CD is crossing vertical plane and entering another quadrant. Whereas in our question, it is clearly mentioned the line is in first quadrant only. So this is not possible. Only this is possible. In which the complete line is in first quadrant. Taking true length, you will get another end of the line that is D. When you are looking from the front, both C and D, the projections of C and D will be coinciding on a single point on vertical plane and C dash D dash will be the corresponding front views. While looking from the top, Two different points C and D will be obtained on the horizontal plane and the line joining C, D will be the top view. So this is how it will be looking and as usual, single vertical projector will be having the front view and top view of the given line. Let's draw the actual two dimensional solution. Start with the XY line first, taking a vertical projector taking distance 30 mm above, obtaining a point on which both front views that is C dash and D dash will be coinciding. Then taking 15 mm in front, having the top view of C. From there, take the true length and obtain another end D and dark the line from C to D. This is the required top view of the given line CD. In this manner, you have obtained the front view and top view of the given line, which is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.